Today, we are in gear number six. We are practicing performance management. We are dealing with assessment number six. We are dealing with concepts there. Um, today, we are going to focus more on the uh, presentations that other students were tasked to do because you cannot be a practitioner if you don't practice. So I prefer students to practice. If ever you are the performance management consultant or practitioner, you must know your story. So our aim is not that you pass. Passing is it should be given, but our aim is that you master you know the model the model that you are doing you master it you know and how you master it you have to gel theory to practice so this is what we have been doing you know so yesterday we i assigned tasks to my students you know with regard to the case study, which I'm going to read. After reading, uh, I am going to give a, a background. Then the presenters will present, will take it from there. Right? So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. We have dealt with case study number one. We have exhausted a lot of things. There was a lot of presentation. It means that we have already dealt with 30 marks. Uh, those who were not part and parcel. But it's good because you are going to also listen to the the audio. I think um, you're going to add to what you going to give us to the assignment after you, you you listen to the audio. Get time. If ever you have a problem with finding it, I think Mrs. Masiane and even here, Ms. Prisman, before we close the day, she would be able to help you in that regard. But at this moment, we are going to focus on a case number two. That's where lies a lot of work. Um, we are dealing with a case study <laughs> uh, pertaining the Isando Financial Services, which reads as follows. Isando Financial Services is a registered financial service provider specializing in short-term loans and insurance. Given the growth in company size in terms of growing number of customers and staff complement, the company has been experiencing challenges with the implementation of a performance management system. So pe performance management system here is, is critical. The challenges which are uh, being caused by this system is the order of the day in this case study. With the current performance management system, staff and line managers have complained that it adds an administrative performance system. Uh, it, it, it adds an administrative burden for them because of the paperwork involved. For instance, at the beginning of each performance management cycle, the office of the line manager is expected to book individual appointments with all direct reports for performance contracting and thereafter file completed performance contracts. And during the performance reviews, assessments, almost a similar process should be followed. However, 
Sometimes some performance contracts are misplaced due to misfiling. Sometimes review meetings are held late or not, not held at all because the office of the line manager forgot about the reviews. On the other hand, staff members raise concerns about transparency of the process, unfair performance reviews and the rating that do not match their level of performance, and the lack of opportunity to appeal their scores, lack of feedback, misalignment between their goals and goals of uh, organization, lack of, sorry, uh, then uh, lack of feedback, misalignment between their goals and the goals of the organization, lack of resources, and sometimes lack of follow up on personal development plans. In certain instances, staff have also highlighted an element of favoritism or bias, which led to either deflected or inflated performance scores. Deliberations have been held at various management meetings and resolution was taken to seek services of a consultant who is you, who can advise how best the performance management can be implemented at Isando Financial Services. How best performance management system can be implemented. So, yeah, we, 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 we deliberated a lot yesterday and uh, we realized that uh, it is very, very important. You know, we realized that it's very, very important to uh, let me say, let me check here. It is very, very important to note the following outcomes. We spoke about on completing this assessment, you should be able to do the following. You must compare the high performance cultures with low performance cultures. Analyze features of organizational culture and determine how each one plays a role in the performance management system. You must be able to critically discuss how goal setting theory influences the performance management process. You must be able to analyze factors influencing rater behavior during performance review. Outline different types of performance management systems discuss different types of training to be given to raters before the performance management system can be implemented, apply recommendations for a digital performance management system to be introduced successfully and justify a move to a future approach to performance management. If ever you would want to make it well, you must be able to, you know, you must be able to master these uh, outcomes you know, and these outcomes are giving you a direction where you should focus on. You know, in other words, you are not going to read the whole book, but the assignment says you must read the whole book, but by reading the uh, performance outcomes or, or the, 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 the study or model outcomes or the chapter's outcome, you are going to be able to be given, you know, a direction. So as a student, yesterday when we do the analysis, you know, when we do the the analysis, uh, we, we 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 do. We check chapters that are very relevant, and we said chapter five can be very relevant, and uh, lesson five or chapter five, lesson two, and nine and seven and all others. I think even chapter fourteen, the last one. So now, as a consultant, remember, you are required to have the understanding of the case study, the problems within the company, because there is no way where, as a consultant, you are going to help if you did not diagnose the problem and you were not told the problem. So meaning that you must identify those problems and so forth and so forth. And as a consultant, you don't just diagnose, you also check the current system that has been used, which is causing a problem. 
you know, and they also thereafter propose possible solutions to the problem. More especially when we are in this moment of millennia or industrial fourth revelation, uh, re, uh, re, uh, um, revolution, we, 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 we must be well acquainted with technology, paperless, you know, work, you know, uh, which requires nowadays, I'm just giving this as a background. Nowadays in our workplaces, in my department, I'm working in the government department, in my department, we are no longer using the paperwork in terms of performance management system. We sign our performance contracts, you know, using the, the, the electronic system. We sign performance contracts using the electronic system and uh, we assess ourselves electronically, meaning that paperwork has been dealt, dealt away with. So, but this company that we are talking about is still practicing that such a practice. And uh, in, in doing that, you know, it, it frustrates both the land managers and the employees so much that sometimes they skip some other meetings and they don't attend, not because they don't want, simply because the system is really. But now the catch is, what is it that your theory, what is it that your model, you know, has to say about performance management? You've been, you've been given those chapters. So now it's up to a student, I'm saying, we don't take it this one, you know, we take it gradually. We take it gradually uh, so much that, you know, when you, when you come to be an independent writer to finalize, you know, because I think by next week you must be submitting. So it is incumbent of a student to really, more especially this time, if you miss a class, you miss and there's nothing that can be done about that. Very, very important. And given work to do, do it because it's helpful. Uh, we've got three people that are going to present what they have done. So yesterday, was it yesterday? Yes. Yesterday, I gave responsibility to students and said, go and identify the challenges, the performance management system challenges that the company is faced with. Go and identify those challenges. And you are a consultant. Give advice the managers what to do with the problem of performance management system issues. So now I said here you we are going to marry theory and practice. So now how do we apply the knowledge we have of performance management as consultants to this problem in terms of performance management system implementation? Now um, I've got two people here, three people here that are going to present, if not mistaken. Uh, the first one, can I get a volunteer between Susan and Machuene? I don't know it may if the microphone, the audio is okay. But uh, I needed someone to start. So between Machuene and Susan, please volunteer before I volunteer on your behalf. I'm closing my eyes just for a few seconds. 
Okay. I just have this feeling that Susan wants to start. Over to you, Susan. Give us the presentation that you prepared. And uh, my discussion, uh, the number one will be the company has been experiencing challenges with the implementation of their performance management system. And the solution to that, it should be that um, there should be a clear line of sight between overall business strategy and the performance management system. And the business goals should be cascaded into teams and individual performance goals and targets. And there should be a performance management policy and guidelines for both line managers and employees. Another challenge is that the staff and line managers complained that there's an administrative burden for them because of the paperwork included or involved. A solution for this will be they should um, be a digital performance management system introduced in this organization. Uh, they should have the paperless um, system where everything should be done online to save them time. Um, and it will also be easier for them to track, update uh, all the information. Uh, to process data, uh, data instead of um, doing it um, in writing, they should process all the data online. That's the solution for that. And um, the other problem is that some the reviews meetings are held late or not held at all because the office of the line manager forgot about the reviews. Um, the, the, the line managers should um, be aware that they, they should know that the performance assessment, the performance management is um, assessed to check whether it is the right is the right system and serves its purpose hence uh, the reviews meeting should be held and um, the other problem is that the staff members raised concern about the transparency process uh, my solution is that um, the line manager and the employee should sit and discuss their performance goals where the employees should know what is expected from them and the feedback should also be provided to the employees. Uh, ratings do not match um, level of performance. 
uh, my solution is that the line manager should keep the performance rating record for administration purposes. Yeah. Information collected from the performance can help manager to make decisions about matters such as promotions, rewards, demotions, and dismissal. Uh, other problem is the challenge is that the lack of opportunity to appeal the scores. Yeah, the, I've said the Solution is that the employee should report the matter to the CCMA if they feel that they were rated unfairly. The other challenge is lack of feedback. Uh, feedback should be provided using the 360 degree feedback system where the customers, peers, supervisors can be sources in this system. In conclusion, I would say the line managers of Espando should determine performance requirements, the type of skills, output, and accomplishment that will be reviewed during each review period. There should be training offered to the line manager to avoid being biased and for them to be able to prepare accurate reviews and uh, they, they will be also be able to communicate their ratings effectively to the employees. <clears throat> the organization also implement a digital system where all the performance management information should be captured every time. Um, where should be updated um, for each quarter until the final stage of the performance. Uh, that's my take. Wow. Let's give a hand of appreciation. Let's do it. I mean, let's do it. Let's appreciate. Let's give, let's appreciate this uh, presentation. Let's appreciate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very very much. You know, I am so so glad. I am so glad these presenters today. They gave, they, they, they've given the all. So um, I will tell you the strengths of each, pro, each, 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 I will tell the strengths of each presenter when I do conclusions and the weaknesses where Inaka must come in to close that gap. So all I want to say to the presenters so far, I am really, really, uh, encouraged very encouraged i really i can see we are working together as a team in as far as i'm concerned uh, you would you would you would uh earn a lot of marks um you know why simply because you uh, the strengths that you have, you were a consultant who was using the checklist, 
the checklist it talks about um for example uh what is it that the book is saying you know a textbook is saying or the theory is saying about the um performance management system i think uh let me be let me say before i make some comments and proceed uh, uh, Susan and uh, March, Marchant, um, yes. let us assume that this is, the, this is your first presentation. Remember, when you do the presentation, it's not necessary. I mean, today, I want to I wanna give you my marks that um, uh, you know, all of you, I can give you, you know, all of you, I can give you uh, because it should be 100 percent. You know, the scale that I'm using, not the scale of the assignment, the scale that I'm using, I can give you 80 percent, all of you. It's a distinction. The 20 percent is what I'm going to address. And what I'm going to address it has to add you you need to add to that so that the final presentation there is a final presentation that you are going to give which all of all of us here are going to give it means that the week of next week if you just not come and not you you won't blame anyone you will not blame anyone because it is very important that you present and you be corrected. Because if you check the presentation of uh, Matthew and you check the presentation of Mati Susan, they are not the same, but they are similar. The approaches are not the same. You know, you can't copy the assignment from what we are saying. It's just that the understanding must be the same. But the approach must be your approach. So now, what is that I'm saying? <clears throat> Students that are here, all of you, today, you know, today, you know, you are going to present, you are going to prepare your final presentation with what I'm going to give unto you. So that is going to be an additional information. It means uh, we got. Uh, Okay, it means our week is next week. Our week. Welcome, welcome, Nana. Welcome, Nana. Our week is next week. If next week you are not part of us, then uh, is you are on your own. But now, individually, let's come to the presentation which was done by a Mrs. Uh, Modiba, you uh, you were able to identify the problems, uh, burden of admin burden, lack of transparency, then the goals, alignment issue, your poor communication, resources in terms of development of staff, and the biasness you, you were and so forth you were able to identify those challenges then and also what i liked about you you were at least trying to take it uh, from the you 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 were you were indicating for example if you take we we'll talk about challenges of performance management Obviously, system. Obviously, you must go to performance management systems. You know, check the challenges. If your book, I'm this way I'm coming. If your book does not have it, it does not mean that it does not exist. That is why they said additional information. Additional means information means you must dig down to say, okay, 
What are the books that are talking about performance management system? And, 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 and that is additional. Obviously, they won't be the same. Then they will be different. You must take them out of that book or out of that into. And I will, I will show you how you should write the additional information. That's why I'm saying next week, uh, if you fail coming next week and doing the work from today, I, you are not part of us. We are the practitioners. We are the consultants. I need students who are consultants. I don't need students who cram. The cramers won't make it. Uh, the cramers won't make it. So my fellow students, I am saying, do not fight for passing. Passing is not a solution. Fight for understanding and being a practitioner. All right. Now, I was on the uh, feedback from Susan. I said, Susan, you, you, you outlined, you identified problems of performance management system. Then, and also I saw you um, also um, extracting uh, the problems from your textbook, uh, a possible problem of the performance management system. And uh, you were comparing it with the case study. To me, that is very, very good. So then now, the emphasis to me is that please do not focus on the problems and the solution without also uh, making use of the theory. Without making use of the theory, apply that theory to the case study. So which you tried, which you tried. So that is what I can give you as a, because you, you, you indicated that yes, there were alignment, you know, with the vision and mission, you know, there was no, there was misalignment. And also to, 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 to wrap up that, there should be clear goals. And, um, you know, management should give guidance. There should be open, you know, communication and collaboration. You know, poor communication. Then now, what is it that you can recommend in that regard? You know, a solution. So now you gave, you gave three things. You identified the problem. Then uh, you 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 choose you 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 go to the textbook, which talks about the problems of performance management system, for example. Then you identify them, and uh, you 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 marry them with the problems in the case study. So now sometimes you might find that there are challenges that, you know, they are in the case study, but you don't find the information, you know. Those ones you can write them as you close, as, as you finish, you know, to say, and there are these challenges, you know, although there is no research source, you must be on it, no resource that has been identified or found whatsoever, but this is a challenge, this is a how. That is a student who knows your story. Remember, a consultant might use the guidelines, might use the information, and also he must use his uh, uh, you know, creativity and innovation and so his skills, you know. But all I'm saying is, let us marry case study with the theory, and let us also, after doing that, a uh, case study identification of problems linking to the to the theory solutions. All right, this is what uh, she did. I really appreciate that. 
although in the favorite business, I did not hear much about it. You know, solution. I didn't hear, but there is a lot that you have written. So I also liked your, uh, your, your conclusion. You know, you, 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 although it should have been having meat, a lot of meat on it. So I upload you. I upload you. You did well. You know. Then let me come to uh, the second presenter by the name of Muchen. Our second presenter. The strength or the, the weakness there, I think um, there is nothing much a weakness. It's just that uh, there is a lot of information that maybe you didn't dig out from the book and other resources. So that that could be the weakness. The second presenter, hey, yeah. The way you, the strength, the way you, the way you, the way you identify problems. Ha! Ah, I said, wow. The way you identify problems. I liked it. You were just on par. And the way you provided a solution to the problems. The way you provided a solution to the problem. So now, the way you 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 identify problem and the way you provide solutions i liked it and the other thing that i liked you did you 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 put it as a you put it as a conclusion i say wow how about if ever she just summarize recommendations because everything that you put there it was just wow if ever i were you i would put it as a recommendations you know, then conclusion can just be a, to say if ever really you as managers can abide on the recommendations above and so forth, and you will be this company that you will outperform you know, a learning organization, a great one. So I liked, I like the three things, identification, you know, you just separated them. I like how the, you put them to, the, 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 the solutions and the recommendation, which is, I liked it. I really liked it. So the only issue that is to me is should work on is theory. 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 You know, our, 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 um, our, our, our lectures, they cannot give us the information for the books and other resources for nothing. That one you should know. That's why they even give you, you know, go and search for references and so forth. The only information that uh, was lacking there, uh, it was the sources, the references, not only sources, information extract from the book. I think that is where lies a weakness. So work on that weakness, um, uh, 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 work on that one. Uh, that's the only thing that I didn't see it coming up. You know, but how you responded, I'm telling you, if ever they were just saying, if ever the lecture was just saying, identify the problems and uh, give solution. And without even, you know, saying a lot of things, just identify and give solution. You know, by the knowledge that you have, and you just gave a recommendation, he or she will give you 90%. So I want to show you how you process, but the gap, it must be closed. It must be closed. So now, I will want to say to Ms. Manchwene, Manchwene, you, you, you did very well. You know, this 80% that I say I could have given unto you is because of the three things that I saw. So work on the, on the, on, on the literature, work on that one. 
So, uh, and also remember, they said, now as I'm saying, now as I'm saying, because now we are working on how each one of you, the next week one, each one of you is going to give presentation. Maybe if you don't finish by Tuesday, you know, if you don't finish all of you, even the next, go, go and listen to me. If you don't come, you don't present. It is your own endeavor. But, you know, I've got this skill to say, you know, how can we, in the short space of time, make students master what they are doing? How can they impress the lecture? You know, how can they become consultant before they become real consultants? You know, sometimes the lecturer will want to say, hey, who is this woman? Who is this man who wrote the way it is? So it should, it's a skill. I want us to go to this one. How they are going to mark? Can you see here? I wanted to show you this thing so that you will know where I'm going. Introduction. The total max is 5%. If you can just check. The total max is 5%. Then now, how to get 4 or 5? If you get between two and you are not able to provide clear background on what the essay is about, can you see? You are not able to, to, to demonstrate understanding of what performance management is and the issues to be discussed. It means that your introduction must catch up with what is happening. Remember, I, I will show you. So the ability to formulate if you get three, you, you are able to formulate a, a background on what ESA is about, and you are able to state what performance management is, and some points of discussion are stated. Do you know what they mean here? They are saying you must talk about what is the ESA about, what is that you are required, or what is, what is, what about what the essay is about. In other words, what is it that you are required to do? The essay is about you doing what? It's about you doing what? Let me just. The essay is about you. Remember, you've been appointed as a consultant to advise. Uh, the implementation of performance management so that can eliminate that is the essay about. Can you see? The essay is about the implementation. To advise, you are going to advise on the implementation. And you cannot advise if you didn't identify problems. You know, just to say, uh, I am required as a consultant to advise on the implementation because. There's a problem. There are problems, challenges in what? You have become very specific in this company of implementing the system. So the ESA is about uh, advising with regard to the challenges that are faced this organization. All right, there are challenges there. And now, as a consultant, you are going to indicate to Ray uh, the, 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 in addressing, in advising, I am going to identify those challenges. You know, you are going to identify those challenges and identify those challenges and you are going to use relevant information, you know, from the textbook or from the sources, you know, uh, in order to be able to bring solution to the problems. So your introduction must really uh, 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 be attractive. That's why they are saying draw, drawing from the performance management literature. It means that the books, the studies, 
the articles discuss how best the company can implement the performance management system to address these challenges. Then now, already in your introduction, you must stipulate those challenges to say the company has this are the challenge that the is, is 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 facing about already the 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 marker or the research and I mean the the lecture already knows that you know that there's a problem with the system and these are the whatever you have identified and thereafter in your introduction this is how I am going to structure my essay or my response. This is how. Then just to say how you're gonna do it, the marker of the, the lecture will be able to know or you know what is it that you're gonna do. I'm gonna first identify the problems. I'm gonna explain the problems. Can you see? I'm gonna explain the problems. You know? Uh, or I'm gonna uh, outline the problems. You know? And uh, after outlining the problems, then the system itself, I am also going to, you know, uh, 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 align, you know, align the literature to the problems. You are going to align the literature to the problems identified and give a solution with the knowledge of the literature that you have acquired from your studies. I'm going to give the solution because the literature will guide you. You can't say something from out of nowhere. When you say you're going to do what, well, then where did you get this information? So now I'm trying to draw you to this assignment so that you can be dragged. If ever you can be dragged with this assignment, just try to get these tips so that when you live here, you are already a practitioner. So now, your introduction must not be light. That is why I'm saying when you go out there, you know, next week, Tuesday, when you do, if it's Tuesday, when you do the presentation, I would want you to have, you know, I would want you to have done everything. Now, I, I wanted to show you, <laughs> this is very important. When you get to, it's when you are not able to provide clear background or demonstrate your understanding. But when you formulate the background on what the essay is and uh, state what performance management is, can you see now what is performance management? In your understanding and some points of discussion stated, right? But when you are able to give clear background, when you provide clear background on what the essay is about, and also your understanding of what performance management is and all issues to be discussed. In other words, your background must, for example, issues for discussions, your consultant. Issue is, is for, for, for discussion is the you need to advise how to, you know, I, I am required to advise how 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 the you know the best way to implement performance management system. And the other issue of discussion is issues of challenges that are facing the company. And also, you are going to deal with issues with regard to the literature about the concepts and the discussions, which is performance management system, you know, that are related to the challenges that have been identified. And number four, the issue of just to show how will be the sequence of your discussions. Can you see? It shows a clear understanding of you. Even the, the marker or the, the, the lecture is not going to struggle. So now, I'm getting out of that. When it comes to discussions, uh, in order to let, let us dwell on the last, last table, excellent performance Then, When you, all key issues were stated, outlined. In other words, uh, and the impact thereof, 
All right, number two, most all practical solutions are proposed and well justified. Number three, theory and practical is well integrated. Number four, in text referencing according to, can you see, this is the key. When you live here, when you live here, you are going to do these four things. No, no, in, in the body. In the background, I have explained to you. In the body, uh, there are key issues that you need to. And where did you get those key issues? From your interaction. I said, and I'm repeating, you know, that uh, you must know, you know, um, the, how to, your background, you know, what is the essay about, all right? You know, is the, 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 the implementation, the, 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 to give advice on the implementation, then what we identify as a challenges. There are challenges there in the system. You may not even, uh, which you may not even indicate them, but which might, which will be illustrated, you know, in the body down there. Then now, and uh, those challenges then must be dealt with. And also, you're going to indicate to Ray, I'm going to be focused more on, on literature, you know, uh, which is aligned to, you know, the, 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 the concept at hand, the case study at hand, you know, concept at hand is performance management system or performance management, you know. Then now, you, 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 you also indicated this is how you are going to do your you know assignment done was for example uh, i'm going to discuss about uh, uh, the challenges first you know i'm going to discuss just outline them you know from there after i've learned those challenges i'm gonna you know uh, use literature in terms of performance management system and its challenges, then that is your theory. And uh, when you do it, you are going to relate it, you know, to what is happening here in the, in, in the case study. In other words, you won't talk about anything that has, is, about, is outside the scope of what is required, you know. Uh, you are going to focus or focus on that. You're going to get the literature that talks about, you know. Uh, I, I I gave you the I I, I gave you also the, the these outcomes, you know. So it means that you must you when you deal with your literature review, also check about this. And most importantly, the challenges of the system and also how to implement best. The performance management and also how to how how to, to 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 what is the future performance management system, you know. So those are the line of discussions in your body. But you can you can you can you know uh, you, you 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 can release your cases in your introduction. This is how I'm gonna do it. And thereafter, after my my theory about whatsoever, I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna align theory with the practice. In other words, uh, I'm gonna align my theory or theory with the practice or the case study. You know, when you talk about challenges, about administrative problems, what is the theory talking about? You know, uh, is it in line? Yes, there is administrative. Then now, what should happen? You know, the theory talking about uh, you know, th 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 this issue of administrative uh, 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 issues. Then now, how to remove those issues? What is the theory talking about those issues? You know, then you indicate from the case study, then this is what is all about uh, as a challenge. And uh, this is all about what the theory is talking about, but this is how it should be dealt with. This is how it should be dealt with, all right? After planning those challenges and so forth, you know, 
That is where now you go for recommendation. You know, recommendations are the things that you are going to suggest to management to look into, to have a very effective implementation. It is not, it's not far away from the solution you have drawn. It's just a summary. From there, you, 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 in your conclusion, Uri, if ever management can take, you no, know, can take cognizance of this thing, it means that the company, if not, you is their own endeavor. You are a consultant. You don't implement. You advise. You give the advantage and disadvantage. Whatsoever you can discuss. So I'm trying to help you in terms of a. Uh, all key uh, discussions, all key issues are well stated or outlined. All right. What are the all key issues? Challenges is a key. All right. Theory is a key. Application of theory to practice. That's why they said most or all practical solutions are proposed and well justified. That's that. That's what. They were doing here, giving a solution, but now you 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 can't just give a, a solution out of nowhere. You also have to indicate it. Theory and practical is well integrated. Can you see? Very very important. Then now, whenever you write, this is very important. Whenever you write any information by any writer. Maybe there is another writer that talks about page performance management system that has got the information that we have. You know, according to so and so, Maxwell, 2019, blah, 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 blah. You know, performance management system challenges, you know, uh, 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 is caused by one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, uh, the best way to apply performance management system, according to so and so, is this and this and this and this and this. Because I'm saying take information that is relevant to what you want to solve. So then uh, just do whatever you want to do. Then don't worry about your referencing. Your referencing also would reflect, you know, we will correct it. There's a referencing within the sentences or within the and the references that you write when you when you you, you close the case. So in conclusion, it has got five marks. Key issues are well summarized. Maybe here in your recommendations, you can say if ever maybe I were you, I will say recommendation before conclusions. Or you combine conclusion and recommendations. Or you start by recommendations, then conclusions. Is gonna be very good. Then now, this is how you're gonna write your references, which we are going to correct next week. So, students, um, is there anyone who, because I want to emphasize, I'm very mouthful. Just also listen, uh, check on the this guide. Your work should not be less than three pages. I, I don't want you to go and type. If you are going to type, it's still, still okay. If it doesn't take much of your time. But with me, I want you to go and write this fully. I want it on Tuesday. If you don't bring it, and you loafer, uh, I will rest my case. But my humble request is that please do not fail to use this opportunity. It comes once in a while. I am here to guide you to be a practitioner. You must practice performance management. So, uh, secondly, go and, uh, you know, I am saying, go and get, listen to me now. 
uh, I don't want to. I don't want to burden you, but I want to help you. Uh, can we do this? Um, I want you to go and write between today uh, and Tuesday. I want Tuesday before 12 o'clock. Before 12 o'clock. I want each one of you, who, because you're going to present, to have already sent me your presentation, whatever I prepared. I want you to send me whatever you prepared. So I want you to have sent me whatever you have prepared. So in your preparation, go and do as I advise. Go and get the extra material that will help you. Articles and the textbook. I will prefer 2018 to 2020 to current. That talks about the concept you are discussing about. You are writing an assignment. You already have a guidance. That's the first thing. So, I want you to have written the introduction. I want you to have written the body. I want you to have written the conclusion and recommendation conclusions and references. So that even when we come here, when you present, I already checked your thing already. You know, even when you present, I know what is the issue at hand. I will give myself time to quickly check it. I will give feedback while you are presenting to others. I will also already see, see, see yours. And I will already see the common problems so that when I give meaningful, then, you know, uh, you go and be the best. So are we agreeing that before 12 o'clock on Tuesday, I will get uh, what I'm asking? Is there anyone who has got a challenge? What do you say? So I want you to be proud of what you have written. You know, don't be scared. Uh, just be yourself. And I want to do it. I want us to have written that. I'm telling you, it will play a very critical role. You know, because I will have also, I will also check it. And when you present, I will give my comments so that you can make some corrections. At the end of the day, it's not the end of the day, next week, Tuesday, we can, we, you know, presentation can be taken Tuesday, and but I will, I will have already have everything on Tuesday, you know, so that by next weekend, we, 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 we know. When, when are you submitting this? The 27th. Okay, uh, 27th. Uh, guys, Next week, Saturday, please, we are wrapping up everything. You might have written your assignment, you know, you can just do your corrections, you know. Oh, okay, good. Kosat, you said I must write my email address. Uh, Rudani dot negota at labor dot gov. Or Z A. Please, 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 please. Uh, this is my email. You know, this is my email. Thank you, Kosat. Uh, thank you, Kosat. Please just do me this favor. You know what, guys? Uh, you are going to enjoy this. Instead of writing for pass, you are going to also enjoy. You know, education is enjoyable if all of us you know, it, it's meaningful to us. That is trying to write some statistics that you don't understand. 